Today we're testing out a new pair of headphones from Soundcore. These are the Liberty 4s. And I think the best place to test them is right here in New York City, especially in Times Square. And I don't hear any of these tourists behind me. I don't hear any of the traffic. I do not hear anything at all. Before we check out the contents of the box, I have to show you this latest earbud case because I think Soundcore is one of the best in the business when it comes to designing an awesome, awesome case. I mean, this just screams premium in my eyes. This is a really awesome looking case. You have the status indicator light, which right now is red because I've really been testing these earbuds. Battery life has been really impressive, but more about that in just a little bit. But I mean, if I turn off the lights here, Inside, you get this really awesome light show that really, really showcases these earbuds. So it, it's all about the presentation. And again, Soundcore does an awesome job with their cases. They always have. And I got to give credit where credit is due. And I also have to give credit to the fact that the magnet when you place the earbuds in the case is really, really strong. I mean, it's basically pulling these earbuds out of my finger. Let me just show you. So don't worry about losing these earbuds. They are going to stay in place. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and do a shake test. And you can see just how strong this magnet is. Not falling out. So again, the case is an awesome design. But built inside of the earbud itself is an all new system, an all new noise canceling 2.0 system. And there's also an 11 millimeter driver, but I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me just show you what's inside of the box. You do get some different ear tips. And of course, there's a USB-A to USB-C charging cable. When it comes to charging up your buds, what I like about the Liberty 4s, number one, you get this really nice status indicator light on the top. So many buds give you just a tiny little indicator that you have to squint your eyes to check out if it's actually charging and when it's done charging. But you get this really nice, I'm going to call that a light bar right on the front. And this does support fast charge. 10 minutes of charge is going to give you about four hours of listening time. So if you're in a hurry, plug them in before you put on your jacket and you'll be good to go. Battery life has been really impressive. To give you guys a little bit of example, I listen to music, I'd say about two to three hours a day, maybe about five days a week with my earbuds. And it took a full two weeks for me to charge these up. So I think Anchor's claim of eight hours of listening time on the buds themselves and 40 hours with the case is definitely spot on. If you don't use noise cancellation, which let's be honest, everyone is going to use noise cancellation, but you're going to squeeze out another two hours. So giving you 10 hours on the actual earbuds and 50 hours with the case. So again, I think turning on noise cancellation is worth that little bit of degradation when it comes to battery life, but a full two weeks without a charge has been really, really impressive to me. These also do support wireless charging as well. At sub $100, the only way that you would know this is a budget friendly earbud is actually savings in your pocket. Otherwise, when it comes to sound quality, when it comes to features, these aren't skimping on anything at all. You also do have Google Fast Pair. So basically all you have to do is open up the case and it's gonna prompt you through the installation process. Everything about these Liberty 4 Scream Premium, once again, except the price, you will definitely not be able to find the sub $100 earbud that sounds this good and has all of these features built in. Once again, Google Fast Pair, multi-point connection, awesome, awesome battery life, eight hours and 40 hours with the case with active noise cancellation turned on. And I think one of the best ways to check out the technology is actually to head outside. So let me head out to Times Square. I'm gonna test out this noise cancellation. And I'm gonna tell you my thoughts on noise cancellation because Soundcore claim about 98.5% noise canceling. And if it's able to do that, you're basically blocking out the entire world. And I definitely want to block out all these tourists, but I'm just trying to get to work. I'm just trying to do my thing. So let's head over to Times Square and test out this noise cancellation together. One of the best places in the world to test out noise cancellation is right here in Times Square. Now, other than maybe Disney World, <laughs> Times Square is a pretty noisy place most of the time. And that's definitely 100% for sure. I got these in my ears right now and I really don't know what is going on. Everything is being blocked out. So they do an awesome job with the noise cancellation. Now, when it comes to sound quality, you wanna be able to hear what's playing in your ears. And the one of the downsides to living in New York City is all the construction that's happening around. There's always a ton of construction. There's always a lot of noise. And that inhibits my ability to really enjoy my music. But I gotta tell you with the sound cores blocking out 
I'd say they're pretty accurate when it comes to blocking out that noise. I really don't hear that crane behind me. I don't hear that jack hammering at all. And I think that's quite impressive. But other than just walking around the city, I do commute. So let's head down to the subway and check out this noise cancellation feature together. So I'm gonna hop on the subway train and we're gonna test out this noise cancellation. Soundcore's claim of blocking out 98.5% of the world, I think is pretty accurate. Now again, the higher your listening volume, the more it's gonna block out. But around the 40 to 50% range, which is where I've been listening to my music at. And that's another thing I gotta give the Liberty Force credit. I never have to pump these past the 50% mark. The volume is just insane. The noise canceling is just insane. This is probably the best value right now at under 100 bucks for an awesome sounding earbud. Taking a look at the actual application, and again, I'm giving Soundcore a lot of praise because they do deserve the praise. They make a really nice app, they make a really nice product, and they make an application that's easy to kind of navigate your way through. For example, at the top, this is where you have your ambient sound noise cancellation settings. You do have a transparency mode, and that has two modes as well. So if you want to be able to hear what's around you or you want to have a conversation while your music is still going, transparency mode is the way to do it but I've basically been leaving mine on noise cancellation with the brand new Adaptive Noise Cancellation 2.0. And with environment detection, it's actually gonna take a little sample of the noise around you and it's gonna really detect where you are. So if you're on a train, if you're on a car ride or you're just walking through the city, it's gonna adapt that noise cancellation level depending on where you are. So again, Active Noise Cancellation 2.0 with the environment detection means you really don't have to fiddle with these settings. You don't have to change it to transportation mode when you go on the subway. You don't have to change it when you start walking to your job. This is gonna do it automatically for you. And I gotta tell you, that is a life changer. That is a game changer in my opinion. There's also wind noise reduction, which I really didn't notice all that much to be honest with you guys. That's one setting that, that I, I did not personally notice any difference with. You also do have some sound effects. 3D surround sound, I gotta tell you, sounds really, really awesome. It's basically putting you in the center of your music. So you're gonna hear the sound around you in that 3D type of environment, making you think maybe you're at a concert, making you think that the music is playing just for you. And who doesn't like music being played just for you? After all, you are putting earbuds in your ear. Now, when it comes to sound, there's a couple options. You can do something that's called a Hear ID sound test. And basically this is a hearing test. It's gonna give you different frequencies and it's gonna let you know which frequencies you can hear and which frequencies you can't. So let's just go ahead and do this together just for fun. Now my hearing is probably a little bit on the deafer side than most people because I grew up in the big house era. I grew up in these big clubs in New York City. Shout out to Factory, shout out to Carbon, shout out to Tunnel for those of you that know. But let's go ahead and do this hearing test together. So once you're done with the hearing test, you can go ahead and save it. And this is going to give you your own personalized, personalized hearing ID. So again, there's a lot of different ways that you can create a personalized sound for your actual ears. Other than creating your own personalized hearing sound, you do have some presets. And one of my favorites, as someone who listens to mostly house, hip hop, R&B, and a little bit of alternative here and there, the Soundcore signature gives you a nice sound stage that can be used for any type of genre of music. But for those of you that like a little bit of a bass booster, you can go ahead and do that. If you're more in the dance scene, or you're more of the podcast, or you're more of the electronic, all of these presets are set up pretty well, in my opinion, to that genre of music. So again, you're gonna be able to find the, the perfect balance of bass and treble and everything in between using one of their default presets. But if you're more like the customizable person, you can also create your own personalized EQ based on whatever you feel is the best way to listen to music. So you can create a couple of presets there for your custom EQ. So again, Soundcore gives you a lot, a lot, a lot of options. And that's what it comes down to when you're in this very crowded space. Let's be honest, you need a lot of options, but you also need great sound quality. And I gotta tell you, the sound quality on the Liberty 4s is something that really blew me away once again. Now I can't play you music, obviously, because number one, these are earbuds, so they are in my ear. 
Number two, there's going to be copyright, but if you do pick these up or you want to know what kind of music I'm listening to to judge whether or not you should pick up these earbuds for the bass feature, once again, bass is off the hook, bass is off the chain, whatever you want to call it, bass is off the charts. Listen to Take It Off by Fisher, and you're going to see what I mean. You're just going to hear that bass drop like nobody's business. And I got to tell you once again, for the gym, for commuting, for just listening pleasure, the Liberty 4 noise cancellation earbuds are the way to go. Taking a look at my spring recap to give you guys an idea of what I listen to. And again, I'm hip hop, I'm house, I'm old school. So you can see that here. I got a little bit of MK Rhyme Dust. I got a little bit of Nas, Boogie with a Hoodie, Gangstar. I got Tory Lanez, I got Cascade, I got a Notorious B.I.G., shout out to Biggie, and we got Swedish House Mafia. So again, that's the type of music I listen to, and I'm all about that bass, but I'm also about a well-balanced sound. I want to hear the vocals, I want to hear those mids, and the Liberty 4s are going to do that. I think these are really great. If you take a listen to any of my other earbuds, I'm always, I'm always commenting on bass. Sometimes the bass is a little too overpowering, sometimes it's hollow, sometimes it's not full, it's not that deep bass. But the Liberty 4s are going to give you that nice deep bass that's going to make your music more enjoyable. And I do work out with these as well, and they didn't fall out. So again, the fit's really nice. When it comes to earbuds, if they don't include touch controls, I basically throw them in the garbage. Because the whole point of having earbuds, number one, you want great sound, but you also want to be able to control your music without interacting with your phone. So we do get different touch controls for left and right. And all you have to do, guys, is go ahead and touch on that Soundcore logo. That's the touch point. So if you touch on it, you can get different options for the left and the right. So let me just play some music and I'll show you that. What's the weather? So as you saw, I was able to increase or decrease the volume just by using these touch controls. And I was also able to change the track and access my, my assistant. So you have a lot of different options here when it comes to the actual touch controls. And it does automatically stop and start if you go ahead and place your earbud in or out of your ear. So again, many, many options that I like with these Liberty 4s when it comes to the actual touch controls on the units themselves. One more thing I want to mention before we move on to the next topic, you do also get high-res audio, so it does support the LDAC codec, and that's what I have it turned on to because I want a little bit extra, a little bit extra boost when it comes to sound quality, and you do hear a little bit extra, a little bit more of a higher quality sound. But for those of you that want to save on battery life, or you personally don't hear the difference, or maybe you want to enable that multi-point connection, you can go ahead and turn off that high-res audio codec. Now that we've turned off that high-res codec, we can go ahead and have a dual connection. There's that multi-point that I told you about earlier on. So it all depends on what you guys need. If you want to have a multi-point connection going on, turn off that high-res codec. When you're out at the gym commuting, you can go ahead and turn that back on if that's something that you want to do. So there's a lot of different settings in here, including a fit test to let you know if you've got that right, that right ear tip for your specific ears. Lastly, when it comes to earbuds, you, you make a phone call from time to time. I know we're all about that texting life, but calls do come in. So I've had no problems hearing the other person walking through the streets of New York, actually waiting on the subway platform or just in my office or in my living room. But you guys be the judge of the sound quality. So let's take a listen to both an outdoor and indoor sound test. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments below. This is the outdoor phone call quality test, the Liberty 4s. Walking around, talking normally as I usually would. This is the outdoor test. Let's move on to the indoor test. This is the indoor phone call quality test of the Liberty 4s. I'm inside talking normally as if you called me up to say, hey, Javertech, what's new? What's going on? What's the word? This is the indoor test. If you're looking for some of the best earbuds that you can get right now and you don't want to break the bank, again, at sub $100, these are definitely punching way above their price class. Check my link down below if you're interested in picking them up. If you have any questions, let me know as well. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you in another video.